Hi, Mike Corliss with Torma. Today I'm going to talk about installing and removing the 5C collet adapter. This is the 5C collet adapter. It goes in the spindle nose of the chuck. It's got a key in it. That's going to be what locates on your 5C collets, okay? Slides in, locates off the key. All right. So seeing your collets can only go into this collet adapter one way. Um, if you go to use an emergency type collet or a soft collet like this, okay, it's also got the, the key in it. You're going to want the, the insert to go in and out of the machine the same every time. So anything that you've machined in the insert is going to repeat. Now it's all going to run pretty close because everything's ground and polished. Everything's going to run pretty good, but you'll get the most accuracy and the most repeatability if you um, put it, put everything together and take it apart the same way every time. Okay, so this doesn't have any marks on it yet. We put a, a black mark on here when we put the uh, the three jaw chuck on. I'm just going to line this key up with this witness mark that we had for the, D, the three jaw chuck. And then just give it a, a tap to send it home. Okay. As you uh, put a collet in and then draw it up tight with the draw tube, it it will make sure that that uh, collet adapter is seated 100%. Okay. So if if you're not sure you got it in there all the way, as long as you got it pretty snug, when you draw it up tight with the draw tube, it it will seat. Okay. Go to pop that out, just take an aluminum bar. Uh, you can use a steel bar. I prefer aluminum just so you don't mar things up as much. Um, the closer you get it to the diameter of your through um, spindle bore, the square it's gonna hit on the back side of that insert. Um, but you just take it and you give it a wrap on the back side of the uh, collet adapter. And knock it out, okay? And that's how you uh, install and remove the collet adapter. If you, if you have it installed, if you don't want to keep looking to see if you've got it installed with that keyway, you could put a little dimple on the face with a Dremel tool also. You could put a, a dimple on here and on the face of the collet. Just a little witness mark so you know that you've got it orientated the way you, so it repeats. Less variables is better.